The skirt billows in the breeze, revealing Marilyn's knees. Okay. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am going to be doing something that I did not know existed until about a week or two ago. I mean, technically, this is similar to what I've done before, but it's a different format. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video called Trying Out a Reverse Colouring Book. So many of you seem to really like it, and I personally really enjoyed it as well. So I will definitely be making a series out of that colouring book. I've actually ordered every single reverse colouring book that that illustrator actually has. So that'll be for a future video. However, today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. This is called Peng and Hugh. Hiromeki, draw what you see. So this was actually recommended to me in one of my comments and it's essentially a Japanese blot book that has a bunch of blots inside. The purpose is to do what we did with the reverse coloring book. You literally draw what you see in the book. I actually made my own version of this in my last video, which I'll link below. I made a bunch of blots and then I made lines over all of the blots and this is what I came up with. So they put in like a ton of different examples, like they made these right here and you have images that sort of already look like what they're supposed to be and they kind of give you prompts as well. So different but similar concept. So you basically have cuddly creatures with fluffy, couldn't, I couldn't say that for the life of me. Cre cuddly, can't, cuddly creatures with fluffy fur. So you can kind of see what they're supposed to be like squirrels, but you obviously add the lines yourself. And the prompts and words in there sort of make your mind go, ah, I see that now. And you're kind of looking for a certain type of object. And the more that you look, the more that you're able to see it. Cool, you know, you can see like dinosaurs and things like that. These are meant to look like things. So they have like a bunch of cat faces here and they're giving you the ideas in advance. So there's really less thinking on your part and more kind of creating. So I just thought it'd be really fun to go through this book, do a bunch of different little doodles and things like that. And I know so many of you were really excited about the reverse coloring book. I know so many of you bought it from that video because you all let me know. I figured I would do a giveaway. If you'd like to enter to win, all you need to do is make sure you like the video, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below telling me which illustration that I do today is your favorite. And I will randomly select a winner in a few days. There are a lot of fake accounts going around at the moment. So the only way you'll know that I am the person replying to you is if my name has a tick, a verification mark next to it. If in doubt, click the name and if it takes you to my channel, you'll know it's me. I'm gonna be using my trusty pen. This is my Japanese pen. The only thing that I can read on it is zebra or zebra. It's a really fun pen because it's kind of got that nice little bendy thin tip. Mine's actually seen better days. I should probably buy a new one. So yeah, I think it's about time we get started and let's go. Okay, so opening this up, the Hiramaki book done by... Oh, I'm excited. This is going to be really fun because I feel like this is more of a, a travel kind of book. So you can kind of travel with it. It's a little bit smaller than the original reverse coloring book. But yeah, as you can see, everything sort of mostly looks like something, but you can pretty much just do whatever you want. I will say these ones are all really hard to get to because they're right in the corner. Quality of these images aren't of the high. Some pages are okay, but some, I don't know. Some of the pages aren't the highest quality. They're a little blurry, but it doesn't really matter because you're the one adding the lines in the first place. Oh, here you could definitely see a butterfly in this one. pretty nice. At first I wasn't too sure because this first page is a little shiny. They're not. These are much easier to actually draw on, thankfully. Oh, they actually have one with a beard over here too. I've just realized. This is definitely something that you would do as like, oh, I'm a little bit bored. I'm gonna do a little couple of doodles in here. This one doesn't encapsulate you as much as the reverse coloring book does. But what I do like it better in is that it's more of a, I need to waste five minutes. Whereas the reverse coloring book really encapsulates you for an hour or two and you don't realize how much time has passed. If you are looking to pass the time quite quickly, then you could easily do that with the reverse coloring book. This one, I feel like, won't hold your attention quite as long. But it is very fun, and I'm gonna do a few more, obviously. I'm gonna fill a page or two. See, I was really tender to do this one because it's all like ocean themed. Oh, this could be fun. Let's do this one. Aliens floating around in space. Okay, these are very strange looking aliens. Although, I mean, they're aliens, so they're not gonna look good, are they? The 
thing that's fun about these is they don't have to look good because it's almost impossible to make something look accurately like something else when you're trying to do it with a blob. It kind of takes the pressure off you. This one's holding, is that holding a toaster? We're gonna give this one a mean face. He's gonna have like claw-like arms. He's a, bit, he's a big buff alien. Looking good. gonna be an alien skull because that's what it kind of looks like I don't know these are weird looking aliens hiding out in his little blanket cocoon thing that was fun this did not take me very long to do it was actually actually I've forgotten one whoops I really don't know. But yeah, there's that. Oh, we got some monsters here. I don't know, they're kind of scary. These are all kind of scary looking. Maybe I'll do the bird one. That would be fun. This one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. She's eating something that's messy. I mean, that kind of looks like me after I'm done painting because I get it all over the place. Got a heart on her sleeve or her chest. This one's got a curved beak, so he can be a little kooky. We're gonna give him tiny little wings too. So he can't really fly, but he wants to be able to. I'm kind of concerned now. There's some red splotches and very sharp beaks. It, was there a bird in the middle that there's, they've poked and he's kind of just splattered all over the page? I mean, how's that work? What's that all about? The skirt billows in the breeze, revealing Marilyn's knees. Okay, oh, that one's kind of cool. one missing a leg there apparently. I'm gonna give them eyeballs just so they look less weird. Or did that not help? Did that contribute to the weirdness? Crab limbs all over the place. This one can be a uh, abstract. Or, or maybe two crabs getting into a fight. He's strangling the other crab. So give me back my glass bottle even though there's a lot of them that we can steal. Maybe they're ste maybe these are gold coins and they're stealing the gold coins and that's why they're strangling each other. Are inside the bottles and they're breaking the bottles. Let's make some broken bottles. How about that? They're breaking the bottles trying to find the gold coins. These are all crabs that are relatives of Mr. Krabs. They enjoy money. This one can be like, oh, he's 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 gone. That one. He's been fighting too long. One little leg left there, but he's still going. Cool. There we go. Crabs. These are more like the reverse coloring book pages then. These ones can literally be anything. So it's got a good mixture then, that's pretty cool. I noticed they have a lot of the same ones too. Like there's two here that are the same, two here that are the same. A lot of these splodges are the same. Let's do the whale just because we can. There's a pickle. Oh, was that a sea pickle? Who am I to criticize? There are some weird things in the ocean and things we've not even discovered. I don't know why, but I'm enjoying drawing angry things. Did he run over something? I wanna do this one now, it's a space one. I'll do like some rocks for asteroids. This one looks like a, like a constellation almost of stars or a black hole. 
destroyed. That's not a very good circle, but pretend that it is, okay? There's a little space page. Add some stars too. I feel like with these, I'm thinking a lot less. So if you found the reverse coloring book a little bit intimidating, this might be a good place to start because everything's a lot more simple and small and they kind of already give you the prompts to try out for yourself. So I feel like if you don't feel ready for the reverse coloring book or you just want something that's a little bit more mindless, you may prefer this one, but I feel like if I was traveling, I'd probably reach for this one first because it's so small. I'm just giving all of the planets rings for no particular reason. Okay, so there's my space page. So overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. I will leave a link to it down below if you're interested in checking it out. But yeah, if you would like to win one of these books for yourself, make sure that you enter below by letting me know which page of this that I did was your favorite or which one you would like to do yourself. Make sure you're subscribed, give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see me do more from the Hirameki book, feel free to let me know in the comments down below too. And for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.